Hey students! Welcome to episode... What episode are we on? Now? Episode 6? Episode 6 of Hey Students. I just left the school. Today is Tuesday, the day before the first day of classes. Man, the teachers, we have been working our tails off to get ready for you guys to come. We're so excited to have you here. I understand how it can be really frustrating right now. There are a lot of changes happening, a lot of unknowns. Trust me, I, as a teacher, they, they keep telling us different things, different stories and different um, procedures and policies for how things are going. And it kind of feels like they keep changing stuff. And you know what, That that's okay. I I get that it's frustrating and I'm a little frustrated too at times. But today I was just realizing, you know what, so I get to see you guys. And it made me so excited. First, I wanted to talk a little bit about why I'm a teacher. I've been thinking a lot about this over years, uh, over a long time, ever since college. And I recently got my master's degree, so I've, I've had to do a lot of thinking about that. And uh, especially recently, like, why am I a teacher? Should I just do something different? And I just can't. And I've been trying to figure out why, and I don't even know if I know why still, exactly. But I kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about why I do it. There are two big reasons that I've thought of, of why I'm a teacher. The first one, and this is gonna sound cheesy, the, the first reason why I'm a teacher is because I like being with you guys. <laughs> I've taught elementary school before, I've taught high school before, and I've taught middle school, and you students, you, you kids that are in middle school are my favorite group to work with. I just love being around you. Sometimes you drive me nuts, but I, most of the time, I just love your energy. I love what you guys say. You're funny. Um, you, you work hard. Uh, you're talented. Um, you're excited about life and about learning and about becoming better and making friends. And it's just that age is such an, the age you're in right now is one of the most important times of your life because it's around now, seventh, eighth, ninth grade, around this time that you decide who you want to be for the rest of your life. And I'm not saying that whatever you are now is you're always gonna be that. You can always change. Uh, we can always grow and we improve. It's around now that you kind of decide like, this is who I'm gonna be. This is my personality. This is how I'm gonna be. When I was in eighth grade, I made a lot of changes to who I was. Um, of things that happened and a lot of who I am now are because of decisions I made in eighth grade the summer after eighth grade and the beginning of ninth grade. before eighth grade I was a very different person than what I was after eighth grade and I think it was for the better I, I like who I am a lot more because of the decisions I made in eighth grade so anyway being around your people of your age and helping you make those decisions is something I love about being a teacher. I love making you laugh. I know some of you think I'm not funny and think I'm lame or you don't like me. That's okay. But I, I honestly, a lot of what I do is to try to make you laugh and I love it when I make you guys laugh. And I just love being around you. The second reason why I'm a teacher is because I love music and I love helping people your age discover different ways of interacting with music that is really fun. I think music is enriching and it helps my life just be so much more meaningful and fun. I think it's fun to make music with other people or by myself. And that that means a lot of different ways. Sometimes it's just listening to music. Sometimes it's performing music. Sometimes it's just practicing by myself, whether it's writing music or arranging music or getting together with friends and, and playing music. I, there's so many things about it that I just love and it just makes my life so much more enjoyable to have music in my life. And making music with people your age, to me, is so fun. I just love making music with you. I love being in front of you, teaching you how to, how to play an instrument or, um, or directing an orchestra um, or helping you understand music. I, I just think it is so enriching and so meaningful to me. And some of you will 
will probably not play music after this, you know? Like, some of you will move on, some of you might quit orchestra, or some of you, you know, won't keep playing. And that's okay, I, I don't expect you to play forever. I hope you would, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you continue. But I, I just, I love making music with you guys. So those are my two big reasons for being a teacher, is I love being around you and making you laugh and learning from you and seeing all the, the growth you guys make. And I love making music with people your age. So that's kind of why I'm a teacher. So we've been saving up for the past couple months to buy me some new clothes for school. And we went to Kohl's and we found the section for chubby people which I am. I was able to find some clothes that I like that fit me. Woo! So guess what we're gonna do now? A lot of you, I don't know if I've told all of you yet, because I haven't seen all of you yet, but when my wife and I are in the hospital, she is gonna have her baby today. So um, she's changing into her gown. We just got here. She's doing okay. Just wanna show you what this room looks like. This is where they'll put the baby right after she comes out, and that light will warm her up. There's the bathroom. And here is the bed where my wife is gonna be. This is exciting. So here we go, let's go have a baby. <laughs> okay, so if it looks like I'm tired, it is because I am tired. <laughs> we had the baby. She was born on Friday, August 21st in the morning and she is beautiful and she is healthy and, and her mom is healthy and happy in a little bit of pain and she's very tired, but um, Everything's okay, we're so excited. We don't really post pictures and videos of our children online, so I'm not gonna put them in here, but one thing I did wanna show you is, look how little. <laughs> it's just a little this thing, it's just so little. Oh. oh yeah, no, it's empty, it's fine. There's no poop. Boy, does this little girl poop. Tell me what. This is so cute, <laughs> And this is the outfit that she wore on our way home out of the hospital for the first time. So cute, and it's just so little. And she like, is just so little, and she's adorable. She eats a lot, and she sleeps a lot, and she cries a lot, and she poops a lot. And those are the only things she does right now. <laughs> Everything is okay. I am super tired because she stayed up until like 2.30 last night. We're trying to get her to learn how to go to sleep. <laughs> so anyway, um, if I seem kind of tired in class over the next few weeks, it's because we have a baby now. Um, it is totally worth it. She is beautiful. I'm so excited to be a dad again. So I know this is kind of random. I'm just driving home, getting ready to see a bunch of you tomorrow or Thursday or, or Monday and Tuesday. And I, I was really stressed out earlier today because I do not have all my stuff ready. My Canvas courses are not ready. I was really hoping they would be all polished and ready to go. They're not ready. And so some of you or some of your parents might be upset with me maybe because like, what, you've had all summer, why aren't you, why, why isn't your stuff ready to go? And that, you know, those, those concerns are valid. I, I have worked a lot over the summer to prepare, but apparently not enough. So I was, I was stressed earlier today, but I just realized, you know what, it's okay. Where all of us are doing our best, you're doing your best, your parents are doing your best, the teachers are doing our best, the people who run the school, the administrators and the people in the office, they're doing their best, we're all doing our best. So instead of, instead of us getting stressed out about each other and being mad, let's just, let's just assume that everyone's trying their hardest and just accept that and forgive other people for, for not doing things that we think they should do and and forgive ourselves for for not maybe doing what we hope we were able to do. It's okay, just be chill. Let's just be nice, assume the good in other people, doubt the bad, and just, just have a good time, do your best, that's okay. 
and uh, yeah, I'm excited to see you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm excited to see you tomorrow. Hope you had a good time. And yeah, I'll catch you on the flippity flip. Stay six feet apart from each other. <laughs>